Hello, 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 YouTube. Welcome back uh, to another series of, you know what, we had this series called Smash or Pass, which is basically, we decided what courses we want from Retro Courses to be, uh, make it into the Booster Course Pass DLC from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, we had a whole series, I'll link it down below in the description, Twitch chat if you want to see it, uh, we'll, we'll link it below as well. Uh, so, so like, you can see those in here. So we're going to talk about actually uh, the my prediction for what I would think the rest of the waves are, wave 3, 4, 5, and 6. Given that we've learned new information that in wave 2 DLC, that they're adding a brand new course, which was not expected. So in my opinion, uh, I actually revised my whole prediction list, which you've probably seen in another video before, based on that theory. Um, also, there are three main things from uh, from this list I derived from, uh, just so you know, guys know this. One of them is that uh, I looked at uh, someone, uh, I, I accidentally saw a data mine leak, and it, so we have indication of what courses come with which, so... I mean, I don't know if it's true or not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of take that into mind. Uh, two, I think the seasons mat uh, don't matter that much, but I think when it comes to the about the cups releasing, I feel like those matter. So, like for example, the next wave is essentially the special cups. So they're probably gonna get a Bowser Castle and Rainbow Road or some sort. Um, and then three, um, I think in terms of Mario Kart Tour tracks, really just doesn't matter what when they release i think that i just kind of went with whatever i do think they're going to release at least two every wave like i said before so let's go for each one here so now starting with rock cup rock cup i i this is going to be wave three rock cup and moon cup now rock cup i think for sure we're going to get a uh, los angeles laps because it feels like when it comes to like specifically uh what i would say is what they would want we haven't gotten a we got we got east coast right we got east coast mario kart tour with new york minute uh so i think we're gonna get los angeles lap next and make the most sense when it comes to the next north american cut one area um and then i also think that we're gonna get uh luigi's mansion given that this is gonna be coming out probably fall winter so so like around so we'll probably have something spooky in there um i believe uh, bowser's castle game boy advance uh 2 the second version because it was a retro in the ds will come back and then obviously i think 3ds rock rock mountain is going to make it in rock cup i think that's the that's your, that's your fourth that's your fourth pick um so that's rock cup those are my four courses i think are going to be in rock cup uh now in terms of moon cup i think moon cup is going to have three retros and one original um so i think the re the what the tour uh i think we're going to save the north america theme i don't know they might do a lot in instead or vancouver but i think canada makes the most sense because I mean, Moon Cup. And you see the you see the Northern Lights. It looks. It, 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 Vancouver Lossy is beautiful track. I hope it makes it in anyways. And then in terms of the, uh, I think we're gonna actually get our first uh, Double Dash Cup, which we haven't had any Double Dash courses at all, which is gonna be Dino Dino Jungle. I think we've had hits of it in the past, at Coconut Mall for signs for it. So I think it's gonna come probably in the next one. And then I think we're gonna get a Rainbow Road uh, at, at Retro 3DS Rainbow Road specifically. Because it is the best Rainbow Road uh, when we reviewed it. It's honestly phenomenal. Um, and then one thing with the Moon Cup. I think the Moon Cup, since it's the last cup in uh, the like first set of th waves for the rest of the whole year. I think they're going to add in another new course. Something to what they did with Sky High Sunday. Sky, uh, uh, And I think what they're going to say is like, oh, this is new, but it's going to come to the tour later on. And I don't know what it's going to be. It could be, uh, I honestly have no idea, but I think it's going to be a brand new course, something we're not going to expect. Uh, maybe they carry on the theme of, well, of like, you know, how like, I feel like Sky High Sunday is the spiritual successor to like Sweet Sea Canyon. So maybe we get like a desert course. Maybe we get like a, I don't know, Scorched and Sunshine. I don't know, something something like that. Maybe we get, maybe we get that. So who knows? Because I think, I think, I think in terms of a special cup, um, in the Wii version, there was Dry Dry Ruins, one of my favorite courses. So I think, and, and so I think we'll probably get like a desert theme. That's my that's my thing. Now, when it comes to wave four, uh, we have Fruit Cup and Boomerang Cup. Now, for wave four, I feel like we're gonna get uh, this is gonna be releasing probably spring of, of 2023. Uh, I think we're gonna get Singular Speedway. Uh, we for sure need to get that. I think it's a it's a great course, by the way, wonderful course. I think we're, we'll be able to get that. I think we'll get Koopa Cape, given that Koopa Cape was in Mario Kart Tour as well. So I think anything that came into Mario Kart Tour is probably a given to come in here. And I think we'll probably get Airship Fortress with Fruit Cup. And then I think we're also gonna get original, of course, that time as well. Like something's gonna happen where it's like, oh, this cup, one of these like, releases uh, eight deluxe, but then also releases later on in tour, so. Now, uh, the next cup is Boomerang Cup. I feel like we're gonna get Berlin Byways in this one specifically, because it just feels like 
feels like Boomerang Berlin just feels like it's going to happen. Um, and I feel like they're going to bring in the next Double Dash uh, uh, course. And I, I personally feel like it's going to be Wario Coliseum. This hasn't been brought back yet. This would great, go really well with, with Anti-Gravity. I think it would be great. Um, and I think we're going to get another Game Boy Advance course, which is Cheap Cheap Island. Given that it was in Mario Kart Tour. It is really fun course. I don't mind it at all. Um, it Honestly, any Game Boy Advance course is great. I would love to be wrong on this one because I love the Luigi Circuit Game Boy Advance. I thought that was a great one. So, Team Two Island is one I think is going to be in. And I think the Bank Kong course is going to make it as well, given that it would cover Europe and Asia for this one. So, again, the tour courses, they might be they might switch around. You never really know what, what they want to do. And um, then the next is Feather Cup. So, Feather Cup, I, I felt like London Loop would make the most sense. It's the most themed around there. I feel like they're going to bring back DK Summit because DK Summit was in tour and it's just a popular one. Um, and I feel like they're going to bring in another Game Boy Advance one, which is the most loved and one of my favorites, which is Sun Sunset Wilds. It's the Shy Guy theme that we love Shy Guy themes up in here. And then I think they're going to bring in some kind of like random tour course that we don't know yet. Um, so that is Wave. Uh, oh, wait, shit. Did I just skip the waves? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I just skipped the waves. That's fine. That's fine. Next up is, is Cherry Cup. Uh, Cherry Cup. Sorry, this is these this is wave five. I just I just get I just Feather Cup is in wave five, Cherry Cup is in wave five. Okay, so in Cherry Cup, I feel like they're gonna have uh, the Amsterdam course there because Amsterdam released like last last month, if you're watching this video, so it was like a month ago. And then we're probably gonna have another uh GameCube course, which is I think DK Mountain will show up. DK Mountain has showed up in uh in multiple different in Wii, and it showed up in uh Tour, I believe. Uh, and then I think we're also gonna get Vanilla Lake. I think the Vanilla Lake's the last Super Nintendo one we'll get. Because we had hints of it in Coconut Mall, but also I feel like they, in terms of, they're bringing back the snow ones as retros, and I feel like that's important because uh, with Snowland being brought back, that was that was one that wasn't ever brought back before. We're gonna get something like that, and then I think we're also gonna get like a unique course to Cherry uh, for Cherry Cup in there. That's why anything blank here, that's not in the four, that's a new course. Now going to our final wave, which is Wave Six, Acorn Cup and Spiny uh, Spiny Cup. Now I think Acorn Cup is gonna be released probably holiday 2023, so. I think we're gonna get Mary Mary Mount Mary Mountain then. It's gonna. I feel like it's the most holiday forward. Um, it, I'd be surprised. You know what? They could swap Mary Mountain with Vanguard Velocity. That could happen. You know. Uh, but I think I think the Mary Mountain will be released either one holiday season, either to see the either 2022 or 2023. It's gonna be in one of those waves. So either um, wave three or wave six. One of those. Um, and then I think I think Maple Tree Way is gonna be one of the last ones that's gonna be added in. I, I know a lot of people really want this early on, but it's Acorn Cup. There's a lot of acorns in Maple Tree Way. Like, it's gonna be in Maple Tree. It's gonna be the last one, man. They're gonna save it for the last thing, which which is smart. Um, and then I think, and then there's gonna be two brand new ones in here. I think just because I feel like they're gonna add in more new stuff. Now uh, I'll talk about what I think those three are gonna be after I go through Spiny Cup. So Spiny Cup, there's uh, four courses in here as well. I think they're gonna have a, a, a tour course in here. Uh, I think Daisy Cruiser is gonna be in this one as the finale. Um, and I think. Move You Highway is going to be one of the last ones. Either Move You Highway or Rainbow Road, but I personally feel like Move You Highway would probably make the most sense of one of the last ones, given it was a special cup in Mario Kart Wii, so, and, and, so I feel like it would make the most sense. Now, when it comes to the three remaining that we don't know in Acorn Cup and Spiny Cup, I think they're going to do something very unique by like combining things. I do think they're going to bring either uh, make a new Rainbow Road, uh, or uh, also additionally, I think they're going to bring bring back the uh bring in a brand new bowser castle based on the ride from universal i think that's what's gonna happen i think they're gonna realize oh we're released uh, uh super nintendo world releases it comes out 2023 it makes the most sense if they add a bowser's castle it's called bowser's challenge i believe at universal it, it make the most sense if they added it in there if you think about it like they it would connect to a real life ride I think it'd be a great course. I've seen the the walkthrough of it um, in Japan. It looks really cool. Uh, I've never been on the ride. Hopefully, I can get into it. But I think they're gonna bring that as a as a course. I think that'd be really cool. I think it'd be really fun because um, it'd be it'd be technically a, a, a something you can go to as well. So it'd be cool. All right, uh, but yeah, that's this is my final uh, prediction list right here. Uh, I think I think I don't I won't uh, I, I honestly am not gonna revise this again. I think I only use my reason why I revise this is just because seeing what wave 2 was like i felt like we had to revise it all right all right youtube thanks for uh watching this segment uh let me know your thoughts of what you thought would, would was your prediction let me know what, what courses you wanted to see what you didn't want to see um this is what i think it is good uh, honestly the tour courses it's just whatever we never really know we're going to release them but 
All right, YouTube, thanks for uh, watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, bye bye.